everybody, welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you didn't know this already, my name is Danielle. Um, I just wanted to come on and thank all the people who have been viewing my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's really gonna help the channel grow. Um, and I also just wanted to come on and introduce myself a little bit more personally. Um, I know I don't normally show myself on my videos and I thought it was time to get to know you guys a little better and give you a little bit more of a personal view of me and you know who you're coming to see do these readings when you do view my channel. So again, thank you to anybody who has been supporting in those ways. Uh, the videos that I'm gonna be uploading today are the element videos, how people are viewing you right now, and that's the video you'll be watching right after this. And um, if you do like it, please like, comment, subscribe, continue to share. Um, it's really going to help our channel grow and I would really, really appreciate it. Other than that, just popped on to say hi and I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Bye-bye. Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome to Music Messages Tarot. This video is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn and it's how people are viewing you right now. How are other people viewing my Earth Signs at this present moment? Okay, Page of Swords. So you have a lot of people's eyes on you right now, Earth Signs, whether that be on social media, at work, your friends, your family, people noticing you. You are standing out above the rest and people are definitely taking notice. So that's one thing I can tell you right off the bat. Some of these people may be air signs, so like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they don't have to be. I'm just getting um, a strong message that a lot of people have their eyes on you right now. They might also see you as somebody who's really intelligent, who's able to disseminate a lot of information. Maybe you're like the go-to person at work or, or somebody that your friends go to for advice when they want some kind of sage or wise advice is another message that I'm receiving. What else can you tell me about how people are viewing the earth signs at this moment in time? Six of Cups. Some of the people who might be looking in on you might be people from your past, okay? But what I can tell you is even new people that are coming across you, they see you as very innocent in the best way possible. So innocent, um, pure, very good-natured. Uh, they might also see you as being maternal or also very good with children, okay? What else? How else are people viewing our earth signs? So that's the ace of pentacles in reverse. And I'm getting the message that people are seeing you kind of wanting to break out of your shell. You might be somebody who likes to usually play it safe or do things a very specific way kind of by the book is what I just heard. But people are seeing you either becoming more adventurous or wanting to break out of old patterns, okay? They're, they're seeing you in a fresh light, like in this new glow up energy, um, wanting to do things a little bit differently and break out of old patterns. What else can you tell me about our earth signs? How are people viewing our earth signs? Okay, so this is the Pisces card. So people may see you as very sensitive, intuitive, emotionally connected. Um, and here with the Six of Cups, that was one of the energies I was receiving off of that card as well. So someone who's just really innocent and in touch with their emotions. And in some cases, you may even be empathic or have some kind of psychic abilities or gifts that people know about. And you know, even if you're still discovering those things or maybe you don't even know that you possess those gifts that's how other people see you they see you as someone who's really really wise but beyond like book smart type information you're wise on a deeper level because of how you follow your intuition and your gut feeling let's see what else what else can you tell me about our earth signs yeah another water sign card this is the scorpio card um this deck has actual astrological cards in it. So maybe in relationships, 
and whatnot. Um, you might be somebody who like fiercely defends your social connections. You're someone who is not afraid to go to bat for your friends, your family, your loved ones. So people see that intensity about you. But um, I think once people get to know you, they, they see that you have a very soft heart, a very pure, a very, uh, when I say childlike, I don't mean it in an immature way. I mean it in the best possible way, like an innocence, a purity about you. Um, and you're catching a lot of people's attention right now, okay? For some of you, you're catching people's attention, like I said before, because you are in some way breaking out of your shell or maybe doing something a little bit differently. Maybe you changed your appearance in some way. Maybe you've been like dabbling in a different skill or hobby and being a little bit more adventurous and people are noticing this about you, okay? What else? I'm hearing the name Diane for someone. Kevin, not sure how those names are going to connect. Rachel, I just heard as well. The chariot, wow, that's cancer energy. So on the bottom here, we have energy from all three water signs. So Pisces, Scorpio, and the chariot is cancerian energy. Yeah, people see you as moving forward, taking charge in your life. Um, and again, this might not be what they're used to seeing from you. So some people feel like you are in this whole new energy um, and phase that you're entering in. More adventurous is what I keep hearing. So maybe you're someone who usually likes to stick to a more stable or consistent way of doing something. But lately you've been kind of showing the desire to be more adventurous, um, to stand in your power, to take the reins in some area of your life, okay? Butterflies might connect to someone um, and flat floral imagery, particularly orchids, might connect to someone as well, all right? You might also be someone who has a heavy water placement in your chart somewhere with all this water energy coming out. I'm just getting a very deep, emotional, rich, emotional life. So someone who other people see as very emotional, very sensitive, very, very kind and giving. Um, and like I said here with the Six of Cups and the Chariot, I think a lot of people see you as like mothering or maternal or someone that they can go to for advice. And like I said, not just advice that you'd be able to like read out of a book. People really rely on you for those deeper knowings, okay? Because of, I think they can sense that your intuition runs very deep and that you are able to tap into that, those deeper emotions, the deeper um, divine guidance. Even if you don't realize that you have those capabilities, other people see that about you and they see you as being very innocent but also very wise. So that's a nice combination to have. We're gonna get some clarity here, but that's what I'm just getting right off the bat here, Earth Signs. How else are people viewing our Earth Signs at this point in time? What's going on here with this Page of Swords energy? Okay, yeah, you're somebody who's releasing a lot of burdens in your life, letting go of things that aren't working for you, and people see you doing this. They see you glowing up, okay? The Chariot again. You are going places, Earth Signs. Like, literally, some of you might be traveling. Some of you might be... I, I just get that some of you might be getting recognition at work, for some kind of change that you've made, either you're doing something a little bit differently than you normally do, or you're showing up on a daily basis in some way that's different from the energy that people are used to, used to perceiving off of you. And this is allowing you to be recognized and it's allowing you to actually make major changes in your life. You're either gonna be given some kind of work opportunity or for some of you, this is going to be physical travel. And people see this. They see this like spontaneity, this spontaneous streak wanting to come out. And like I said before, it's not something that normally people would have categorized you as having before. So that's new. That's something that's going on in the present energies that maybe wasn't there before. All right. Let's get some information on this Six of Cups. You could be dealing with any of these signs as well. So like I said, an air sign might be looking in on you and any of the water signs might also have their eye on you right now for something. Page of Swords, as I was saying that, wow. I think for some of you, this is like a side message. You have somebody from your past that's been looking in on you and spying on you and they see you in this new light, okay? 
it's a very, I'm just getting like a very um, innocent type energy off of this person. So probably someone you knew in like early childhood or adolescence. Um, and they, from what I'm picking up here, have fond memories of what a nice person you are and what a, a generous, kind, caring person you are. But they're a little astonished and taken back by whatever this newness is around you. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if maybe you've altered your physical appearance to kind of reflect a higher level of inner confidence or maybe you have become more assertive, more willing to speak out. Um, more willing to stand up for yourself, something like that. Like you're doing something differently. You're showing up differently here in some way. And people are taking notice, earth signs. I want to know what it is. Drop it in the comments if that's you. I'd love to hear what it is that you've changed. Ace of Swords. Wow. Maybe you've had clarity about something. Um, I think a lot of you might have a clear vision or clear... Um, have set clear intentions for things that you want to manifest in your life and it has forged a very clear path forward you know what you want you are taking the reins and actually making those things happen and while people tend to view you very positively I don't think they're used to seeing you stand in your power quite to this degree so it's it's kind of surprising people a little bit but people are in awe of the changes that you're making and they're really admiring you for that right now, Earth Signs, okay? Let's get some information here on this Ace of Pentacles reversed. I think this is this is the energy, this is where I picked up the energy of someone doing something very different from the stability and routine that they normally would be following. Strength, yeah, this hasn't always been comfortable for you, but you know on some level you've had clarity that these changes you're making are for your highest good. There's also Leo energy here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you've decided that you need to start empowering yourself and taking the reins to really achieve the things that you want in your life, the family life, the financial life, the abundance um, you're, you're taking steps to manifest those things in a very uh, assertive way. And that's what people are noticing about you. For some of you, I see a job opportunity coming, either some kind of promotion or somebody noticing the way that you're behaving differently and actually really admiring it and giving you some kind of opportunity to enhance your financial stability right now, okay? It might require a little bit of strength because you might have to step out of your comfort zone, but people are noticing that you are willing to do this. A lot of people are admiring you right now. I'm getting a very strong energy here from you, like someone who's really found their strength, found their footing. What can you tell me about this Pisces energy here that's on the table for my earth signs? Eight of cups. So possibly your intuition has told you to walk away from something that was no longer working. Okay. Uh, people see you as willing to do that too. and Willing to use your intuition to guide you. Um, two popped out, so I'm going to take it. Yeah. King of cups right on the Pisces card and right here next to Scorpio. And also the hermit in reverse. Okay, so I think people see you as a very, very emotional person, a generous person is what I just heard. Someone who has a very big heart and is more willing to, maybe you're somebody who normally likes to keep to yourself, you're more reserved, maybe a little bit more, uh, more of an introvert, that doesn't have to be for everybody, but... I think people are seeing you break away from that now and willing to kind of move away from past behaviors that might have kept you locked in a specific pattern, all right? They see you as somebody who has a big heart, uses your intuition to guide you forward, and someone who's willing to start stepping out of their comfort zone, like we've been saying, all right? Let's get a little bit more information here on Scorpio this Scorpio energy, I see this as people view you as someone who, like I said before, is usually very reserved and shy, but who's willing to take a stand for people that you care about, even in a fierce way when need be. Four of Cups reversed. And Death reversed. 
yeah, with the death card, this represents Scorpio energy, okay? And it came out in reverse on the Scorpio in reverse card. And I think you're just, something's coming to an end and you're moving forward into something new, okay? It's like the the next phase of something is happening. And that's what people see. They see you in this new phase of your life moving forward in some way. Um, and I think for a lot of you that has to do with finding your inner strength right now and um, like leveraging that to manifest the things that you want instead of just staying in a more comfortable routine. All right. Beautiful energies, earth signs. Let's get a little information here on this chariot, even though we pretty much know what it's saying here. Nine of Cups. You are on your way to your wish fulfillment. People see this about you too. You may have potential love interests spying in, like I said before with the Six of Cups up there, because they see this happening. They see you manifesting. It's In some cases, you've always been thought about fondly by these people, but they're almost like, wow, you know, this person has evolved they've transformed this is like a new version of them that i'm not used to the lovers what did i just say for some of you it's love interests too yeah you you may have multiple people coming toward you right now because they see you standing in your power and uh really taking the reins to manifest what it is that you want um for somebody i'm picking up on today you are in full-on empress divine feminine energy and the people around you can't help but notice that and you have become extremely magnetic and attractive to the people around you. So beautiful energies could not have asked for like a nicer spread for you today, Earth Signs. I am going to pull one Oracle card just to extend today's message. And for your element, I'm using the Herbal Astrology Oracle. How else are people viewing my Earth Signs? Okay, Rosemary, Ancient Memory, and I'm going to read from the guidebook on this. Okay, but like I said before, this is the, before I even touch the guidebook, there is an energy coming from this card of someone who's not only maternal and caring, but also very wise, what I've been saying throughout the entire video. Okay, but let's get a little insight from the guidebook. Upright, this card signifies remembrance, ancient memory, multidimensional sight, recollection, commitment, and loyalty to a vision. And what did I say before? You were setting intentions, a very clear vision for the things that you would like to manifest now, Earth signs. It says, ruled by both Mercury, the planet of the mind, and the sun, the planet representative of our base ego and superego. Rosemary embodies this holy connection, the mind of the ego to the superego, the higher mind. This card signifies past feelings and emotions are resurfacing from deep within you. You may find yourself remembering and accessing ancestral memory that resides within your DNA. Rosemary assists us in healing through multidimensional sight, reminding us to use the power of vision to see beyond the constructs of everyday life. Don't, dis don't disassociate or get consumed by the veil that broadcasts emotional imbalance. Call upon Rosemary as a guiding light to see beyond the veil of confusion and stay committed to the vision that moves you. Wow, really powerful. So it speaks to manifestation. It also speaks to downloads and using that inner intuition, like what we were saying before here with this Pisces energy. Um, yeah, people see you as being able to do that, to re reach deep down to a place of universal knowing to help guide your next decision, okay? And this is that's a little bit of advice for you too as well. I mean, most of this reading is about how other people see you, but that is the advice that spirit is also providing you with right now, Earth Signs, as you continue to manifest these visions that you have for yourself. What a beautiful reading for Friday. I hope that this was helpful to you in some way. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help our channel grow. Other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, Earth Signs.